Yeah, all right, lads. So today we're going to be reviewing Silver Inform Nathaniel Santos. Plays for Suwon Blue Wings in the Korean K League. He's five foot five tall, right footed, got high low work rate, a three star weak foot, and three star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to his 96 balance, 87 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 82 agility, and 80 jumping. We have also included all the upgrades over his non informed version as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat upgrade from all of his stats there. So, this is the team we used Inform Santos in a 4 3 3 false 9 formation Brazil for team with Inform Santos at centre forward. So now onto the gameplay, as you can see how he was performing for us. Now looking at Santos's inform card, he does really only have that one standout start. Obviously that is that 85 pace, which was actually good in game, especially acceleration wise. Good for bursting away from defenders, I had no real problems pace wise with Santos at all. But is weak, he did get pushed off the ball quite a lot. Now he is only a little guy, so he is going to get swamped in heavy traffic, which is not a good thing. And as you're seeing in our team, we did move him back up to centre forward. And he could actually do a good job at a striker, more away from that uh, passing game, as his passing is not that good, not really suited to Cam in my opinion. Now dribbling wise, was a really a bit hit and miss for me, did manage to get through the defences, but his dribbling and ball control isn't the best, so sometimes there was a bit too much separation from the ball, as I, a bit too much for my liking, although it did come in handy sometimes, in some situations he was actually, actually accidentally knocking it past the defender with his dribbling so sometimes it comes in handy sometimes it really goes against you was countered slightly a bit with his good agility and it does have amazing balance as well so can get through those defenses if you go do you skill dribble a lot with santos though i really was expecting him to be having more than three star skills being a silver you always expect to look at him have, have at least four star maybe five but three star not too bad for me although it would be a lot better without four star skills and he did have the knack of coming up with the goods in front of the goal which which is really what you want, especially when we were using him as a centre forward. Does have perfect high low work rates, so we'll be pushing forward quite a lot. That's why he would be suited to striker as well. Now he does only have 72 finishing and 73 shot power, which is not truly awful for a silver player, but he certainly did make the most of it. Not much from long range, I wouldn't really suggest any long range efforts, it was poor from outside of the box, but was a bit of a goal machine to be honest inside of the box, and despite his height, did manage to get up for this headed finish, using that 80 jumping, gets up to beat Congolo in the air and grab that header, so actually did a really good job in the box even in the air with that 80 jumping little man but can jump pretty damn high so did a good job in that centre forward role in our Brasilva team he's passing not the best but he did get by he wasn't too bad he wasn't truly awful but did cope well at centre forward so let's have a look at Inform Santos's performance stats for us. So in six games that we played, it did manage to bag an impressive 13 goals. Didn't get any assists though, so all of his stats are there on the left. All the goal information is there on the right. Position map does show you where his goals were scored from as well. So overall, we're going to give Inform Santos a solid 8 out of 10. Did have an impressive goal record, obviously for us he's seen, uh, averaging over 2 a game, which is great, especially from centre forward. Does actually make a good Brazil for Inform, but if he was dribbling and ball control were that just a bit better, and maybe some extra skills, it would have been a great Brazil for I really would recommend moving him back up to uh, centre forward, even up to a striker. I really think he does not suit that cam role. Would make a good option in the K-League team, obviously, or a Brasilva team. Unfortunately, we really are missing the Brazilian league for these Brasilvas this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will make a return for FIFA 16. I really do hope it comes back. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Inform Santos' positives and negatives to look at. Now, his price range is at 18 to 30k. That is on both consoles as well. Can be picked up for 18k, which overall, if you think about it, is not a bad price compared to what it would have been without these price ranges. They put in some brilliant performances for us in our team and a good link with Leonardo in the K-League as well. Is worth a try if you're getting a K-League team, you've already got one, or you want to make a Prisilva team as well. As we said, is a good option. Hopefully, he will be getting you the goals the way he was getting them for us as well. So, hopefully, you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow as much as we can. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Loads more reviews and squad builds to check out on there. Loads more to come as well. So, stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Cheers, lads. See you later.